Ru- who was a bitch? Ruby? Ruby was a bitch to Max. I think that's fucked up that you think that. She was. She abused him. She like when abused. Her, when, when, not abused. Like verbally abused. <laughs> when her friend came over. Oh yeah, she was. She when was. When her friend rude. came over, she was like, yeah. Yeah, "I'm the big sister. I'm cool. I got that's friends. True. Fuck you, Max. That's true. Bro, that's how my sister that was. That was me bro. to my sister. My sister used to like dress, dress me up and shit. Jay bitch didn't say this though. My <laughs> sister used to like. Dr- so I actually have Patreon, which is where I upload extra videos and podcasts early and an extra episode of podcasts. Um, and I upload videos there that are not allowed on YouTube and things that I just don't feel like sharing to the general public. So if you guys are interested in that, you guys can check out the link down below. I upload multiple times a week on there. And yeah, you get some extra Carly Lovin on there. And it's really, really interesting. And I am totally unfiltered. So check that out. Hey guys, so Josh just went to LCBO to get me emergency quarantine tequila in case I ever need some during quarantine. But I thought I would vlog this because I think it's funny. So me and Alyssa were sitting there. You guys saw Alyssa in my other vlog. And um, she was talking about like prank dial and I was like, oh my God, we should do that to Josh right now while he's in the car with his friends. So we're gonna do it. I'm gonna prank call him. It's a three-way prank call where a girl's like, hey, your girlfriend told me to call you and set up this three-way. And I wanna see what he says, because if he like agrees, I'll be pissed as fuck. Okay, Josh, is, Josh answered. Why the fuck is he on the phone for this long with this stupid bitch? He should have hung up the moment he heard it was a girl. I'm pissed. He's been on the phone with her for 21 seconds. No, he's been talking to this girl for too long. 31 seconds? Oh, hi. How are you? <laughs> Good. What's up? Your girlfriend asked me to give you a call to set up our... <laughs> well, you know. Set up what? It's Carmen. I'm sorry. I, I thought she told you that I'd be calling you. What? Your girlfriend, when I met her last week, she said you guys talked about me. <laughs> she told me all the details. <laughs> Did you two want to meet at my place, or should I come over to yours? <laughs> I'm pissed because he answered the phone call. How long did he talk? Thirty seconds. My grandma's still on the phone with them. It's been fifty seconds. What did you send to her? Which one? You got the stuff. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be there in ten minutes. Make sure you got the stuff. Excuse me. Stop playing. Just make sure it's ready. I'm not sure who you think you're Don't talking to. Me. You know I can't talk about this on cell phones. Got it? Uh. You know yeah, who this is. I think you got we the wrong. You can take the package from Columbia. You hand it off to me. I'll get five <laughs> Okay, Jeremy, what are you up to? Yeah, let me talk. <laughs> Yeah, you don't come near my house. You stay away. I don't let anybody in that I don't know. If it turns out you're the cops, we're done doing business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you... You've just been pranked by prankdial.com. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm getting wood cut for a... Um, blanket ladder. Maybe I'll even do it on camera because I'm going to be doing it by myself in the uh, laundry, not the laundry room, the garage today. Um, I was going to buy a blanket ladder, but they ranged from 60 to like 100 bucks. And I was like, honestly, I could just make one. And this is going to be like maybe, I think it's going to be around $20 to make, maybe, maybe $25, $30. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just going to make one. Um, and it, it just feels better to know that you made it, right? And also, I'm kind of bored during this whole quarantine thing. I have no nail appointments, no nothing. So, um, I'm gonna make one. And this is a two by f- four by eight, I think. And this is a one by four by three. I don't know. I'll let you guys know. I'll put them here, right here. What? Is he coming? I was about to say, are you talking to the guy? Oh my Mine god. Aww. So there's a line at Home Depot that you have to step behind while you're checking out for the virus. That's fucking weird. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, that wasn't here before. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay, so the blanket ladder that I'm making is 
kind of like this. I mean, it's just a normal blanket ladder. It's basically something that you can just, you can either hang it up or you can just like lean it. Um, and it looks really good and you can hang blankets on it. I don't have a picture of mine yet because it's not dry, so I can't put um, blankets on it yet. But these range from about $100 to $200 um, on like Wayfair and other places like that. You can get them pretty cheap on Etsy though for around $70 bucks or on Facebook Marketplace. Um, but obviously, it's cheaper to make it yourself, like most things. So here's what you need. So you're going to need one 2x4x8 by and one... 1 by 3 by 8. Um, these are white wood. You can pick like spruce wood, pine wood, whatever wood. I just picked pine. It's the cheapest wood and it's pretty light so that you can like actually carry this ladder by yourself and you don't have to work with super, super heavy wood. And then also you're going to need a drill with a drill bit and some screws. So actually on this blog, it says you only need eight screws. Uh, you need like 16 because you need two for each one on each side. And there's four, so it's eight on each side. So you're going to need 16, not eight. I don't know why they said eight. I don't know if it was an error. I don't know, but you're going to need 16 three-inch screws. And then, obviously, you're going to need, like, a tape measure and a drill with a drill bit. Um, I just got my wood cut at Home Depot, so that totally you don't need to get, like, a saw or anything like that. You can just get it cut for free at Home Depot. And you can just tell them what you need and then they'll do it for you. And then obviously optional is wood stain and some sandpaper and a brush to put it on. This is optional. If you get really, really nice wood or if you get, if you spend some more money on like some oak wood, you don't even need to stain it if you don't want to. But I did, so I do have the sandpaper. And the sandpaper is really good for sanding down the edges. So let's get started. So basically I just took all of my wood and I'm sanding down the edges to make them smoother and so you can avoid like snagging your blankets when you put them on. Um, you don't really have to do this if you don't want to, but it does make it just feel a lot smoother and put together and it also <laughs> prevents you from getting slivers and makes your wood really smooth and nice and I also just want to make sure that my blankets don't get snagged so that's just the reason you don't have to do it but it's super fast super simple you literally just take your sandpaper and a couple swipes and it's smooth and I just did that to every single piece and then I also did it to the top and the bottom of the long ones which is going to be the sides just because I don't want it to cut my wall or my floors so I made them smooth on each side for those ones but the middle ones I didn't really make the sides smooth. I just made like the outer side smooth. Do you get what I'm saying? I hope you get what I'm saying. So yeah, I'm just sanding it. This part was actually really fun, so yeah. If you're not doing this part, you can totally skip this part and just go into the next part, but watch me sand and we'll go into the next part. See the barbed wire The place is grown all wide Cause I don't know if it'll be enough There's a stairway down for the both of us But let's not go there You got me thinking, whoa
not waiting a minute Awaken my spirit now You got me thinking, whoa I don't know how we got here Oh my, I think we better run We ought to leave this place tonight I'm telling you measuring two inches from the top and I made my first line at the top and then you're gonna want to me measure each section for like two inches width wise and then they're gonna be eight inches apart so um, yeah you're just gonna if you read the little blog it makes more sense I don't really know how to explain it I just did them both at the same time instead of doing each one separately because they're gonna be lined up anyways so I just them both at the same time instead of doing each piece of wood because you're doing double the work for no reason and then this way you know they're actually completely lined up so yeah it makes sense when you read the little blog post so just click the link and it will be more into detail and then you're going to want to like tilt the wood to how you want it you're going to want the back corner to touch the back of the other corner if that makes any sense i'm really fucking bad at explaining this so just <laughs> If you read the article, it totally makes sense. That's exactly what, that's the only way I learned how to do this is I literally just read the little blog post and I was able to do it. It makes more sense and they show pictures on what they mean. So yeah, I'm just tracing them all, every single one. And then I just drill holes in. Drilling the holes in first really does make a difference. If you don't, your wood will crack. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> Um, I didn't drill holes into the actual middle part of the letter, just the outside, and my wood started cracking when I did it, and I had to totally, like, restart that piece, and Josh helped me with that. Um, you guys will be able to see later on in the video where Josh came and helped me. Um, so yeah, just watch me do this, and then we'll go on to the next part. I am such a handyman. I'm Bob the fucking builder with a big booty bitch. Tonight, I'm telling you Okay, so this is where Josh came and helped me, and we split the wood, and I was like, oh shit. So I had to take up the screw, and I had to, I ended up screwing the wood directly into the other like, slate. It's really hard to explain, but you'll get it when you read the article, and you'll get it when you're doing it. And if you have any issues, you can just watch up their YouTube videos. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend just drilling into both, and I did that after that. And then I started screwing them all in, and that was it. I just screwed them in. I don't know if it'll be enough Or if there's a way out there's Guys, I can't believe I did this It was a lot um, I had some trial and error 
Um, but I hope you guys learned something from this. This costed a total of $20. If you have to get stain and stuff, it could get kind of pricey and it can go up to like, you know, um, like if you don't already have the tools, then it can get pricey, but I already have stain. So all I had to do was purchase the wood and at Home Depot, they cut it for you. So this total thing costed me 20 bucks. Um, and I actually bought screws, but honestly you can get it cheaper and just buy a couple screws, but I thought it'd be good to have those screws anyways. So if you like live at home, like with your dad or something, or you can borrow tools, then it's super cheap. All you need is a drill bit. You honestly, like you really do need a drill bit cause you need to drill through. But other than that, it's like super easy to make and super affordable. And if you want to do like a little side hustle, you could like make a bunch of these in like a day. Now that I know what I'm doing, I could probably do this in like 20 minutes, but it was trial and error. So it took me like an hour. Um, but if you just got like went to Home Depot and got a bunch of wood cut, like enough to make four or five, and they costed you like $20 to make. You can actually get cheaper wood if you wanted to. You can get like spruce wood, I think it's called, or like whatever, but I just got pine just cause like I'm familiar with pine and I know how it stains. But um, yeah, you could go like with a bunch of different kind of finishes. And yeah, I don't know, I'm like loving it. Um, yeah, I think it looks really good and I'm just gonna stain it. I'm not sure what color. I think I'm gonna go with gray or I might go with like a, a dark brown. I'm not sure. Okay, so you can also see the shoe rack that Josh built me. I'm using it to hold a bunch of other stuff. Anyways, these are the stains that I have. Um, this one is like just white, and then this one is white and gray mixed. And then this one's just the gray, and so is this one. Okay, so I have a bunch of different finishes here, and I'm thinking of doing this one just because I feel like if I do gray, it's going to be too much gray in my house. Like, there's too much white and gray, and I feel like this really goes with my floors. So this is the one I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to actually record it so you guys can watch me do it. So here I am just staining it. I just took like, I don't even know what it's called. They sold it with the uh, wood stain. I did not prep this wood at all. I know there's probably some girls or some people watching this that are like, girl, you did not prep that wood. Most people have to like sand the wood and condition the wood. I just threw some stain on there. I want it to look rustic anyways, and honestly, the stain is dark enough, and the wood is fine, where, like, I don't really care what it looks like. I want it to look rustic anyways. I don't want it to look, like, painted. I want it to look like old rustic wood, so it kind of, doing it messy really wasn't a big deal. I totally got stain on my walls, which sucks, because that's not going to come off unless I paint over it, so don't do what I did, but it's just my garage anyway, so I don't really care, and then I just stained the whole thing. I did it, I want to say I did it twice because I didn't like how dark it came out, so I did it again a second time. I did not wait for it to dry. I just waited like 20 minutes and did another coat. Um, and that was it. You started a fire Somewhere deep in my mind See the barbed wire The place is grown all wide Cause I don't know if it'll be or if they really care There's a stairway down for the both of us But let's not go there You got me thinking, whoa
Guys, I finished it. Oh, it's the um, camera stopped recording, I think like halfway through or something. I don't know when it stopped recording, but when I went to go pick up the camera, it was not recording. So yeah, so right now it's looking really dark, <coughs> which it is, but it looks so good. The contrast with the wall looks really good. My walls are white on, it, on the inside of my house and the walls are a dark brown so i thought it would match with the floors and then also contrast the wall but then not blend in too much with my gray furniture because sometimes my gray is overwhelming so i thought it'd be good to have another brown accessory other than just the floors itself so that's what it looks like guys and i'm gonna show you guys tomorrow when it dries i'm so happy with it it looks like even better up close i don't know if i could show you can like actually see the wood up close from far away it kind of looks just black, but it's not. Mmm, you look sexy. Look like you're about to vandalize something. <laughs> Babe is going to spray paint my ladder. I didn't obviously do the bottoms yet, but I'm probably not going to do them at all. So. Oh, the wind. Yay! Why are you so good at spray painting? <laughs> like this? Yeah. Okay, so my blanket ladder has dried. Honestly, the finishing gloss thing did like absolutely nothing for it. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of a waste of money. So if you wanna save money, don't fucking get that. And he put on like quite a bit too. It literally, like I'll show you guys with the light on, it literally made no difference. It's supposed to be like glossy, it's not. <laughs> um, but I put on like these white things. I had them in, they're like 3M. I think I got them with like something I built, I guess. And I put them on the back so that when I lean it against the wall, it doesn't actually touch the wall. Because I'm having a feeling the stain is going to rub off on my wall. And then that's going to be um, a struggle to get off. I'm probably going to have to paint over that part of the wall if I wanted to. So I put these on and we're going to see what it looks like against the wall. Honestly, if I wanted, I don't really like the two fuzzy ones on there. Like, I wish I could have just done the gray and the beige. But I actually need this thing to function because I sold the thing that I had my blankets in originally. So I actually need something to hold my blankets. So that's why I put those two on. If you want to make it, like, I got this because it just makes it look cute. But if you have, like, normal blankets, you're supposed to, like, tuck them all in behind each other. So then they end up looking like that, but I wanted it to look cute. So I just got these two. These were $10 each at Giant Tiger. They're just throw blankets. That one was $10 and that one was $10. So I made this whole thing for like 40 bucks. And if you already have blankets, you don't even need to. You don't even need to get those two. I'm just extra and I got those two. But I'm so proud of myself, low key. Like I'm just waiting for someone to say, where did you get it? And I'm like, I fucking made a bitch. 